I've gone ahead and added the rest of the appendages to my character. Now I've left this last leg unconstructed just to show you something here. Make sure when you set the bones, sometimes you might have to move the body over temporarily. You want to have the beginning point at the very base of each uh, layer. So if I clicked in the middle, then this center point would be the rotation point. So you want to start all the way up at the top of the uh, whatever layer you're beginning with and then right down to the beginning joint of the next layer and the beginning joint of the following layer. So try not to click in the middle otherwise it won't be as accurate of a motion. So now I have all these set up. I'm going to move this. Well, Let me select this whole thing and move it over. Okay, so just a word on moving. Right now, as we mentioned, the arrow allows you to move the whole arm or whole leg around the whole armature. Depending on what joint you select to move, the rest of the armature will follow. Now some look more realistic than others, especially when you move the joint in an unnatural direction. There are ways to limit the rotation that we can talk about later, but for now, let's say, just to show you, if you wanted this leg to move, you can get the leg in a position that you like and then just click the top layer, the thigh, and then the whole leg will move in that position as uh, one complete unit. So you can bend, th bend the armature into position first, and then you can move it from here, you can move it from here. Every point that you move from will have a slightly different um, effect. Now you can see that this armature, I clicked the middle of the hand instead of the base of the hand and it has quite an, quite an effect, sort of unrealistic, where this hand is rotating from. See this one's much better because you'll see that the base of the bone structure lines up with the base of the hand. So try to uh, set your armature up from the beginning like this so you, we don't have to go back and change things around at all. And I th let me double check to do that. I think we can. Let's get the bone out. I think we can change the position. Well, let me review that before I waste too much time here. So now we've got the whole skeleton drawn. We can bring this out to uh, twenty frames or as many frames as you'd like. Just highlight it all. Scroll all the way down. We've got tons of layers. I'm going to right click and insert a frame. So let's say that this is going to be dancing to music. So at frame 5, I'm going to make the arm go up like this. And you see it adds a motion tween automatically for me. This arm at frame 5 is going to go up like this and bend down a little bit like that. At frame 5 I'm going to have this leg go up and this leg go up. 
minute frame 10 I'm gonna have this light come down this light come down this arm come down and back a little bit and this arm come down and out a little bit frame 15 I'm gonna have this leg come together stretching out its feet a little and then this hand will come all the way down like that and then it'll be back to normal at the last frame so to speak now if I were to loop this you're gonna see that it's gonna clip at the end because the frames are not well it's not so bad So this could be one style of motion. I could go into, well, let's see here. Go into my scene. And I can put my red alien dancing. Well, let me make a new layer first. Alien. Drag it on here. Now if I play the video, the alien is just jumping around in the empty field. Maybe it will be making a crop circle on the farm. Now that you have this, you can just change the motion at any time you could have it walking and we will go ahead and do that we'll make sort of a um, I don't know just get your character on a background doing some kind of motion such as the one you've just seen for your first practice and then we'll start having it do more um, applicable motions to the background